YN wants to know when are you coming to Singapore to perform? Singapore, I think we're going uh, most likely in January or February. That's as of now. That's the, what the schedule is looking like. So I hope that still happens. 2010. Yes. Okay. Uh, BB wants to know what is your favorite song and why did you write it, or and why? Uh, favorite song ever or of my songs? Song that you wrote. That I wrote. Yeah. Um. I think my favorite song that I wrote is Battle on my first album, Coco, because I I wrote the whole thing in a matter of minutes and it was because I was feeling so strongly about a situation. I, uh, family members of mine were having this feud and it was going on for years and I just, I was tired of all the drama and all the sadness that was tied into it and where people couldn't be in the same place at the same time and I really wanted to write about it and express my feelings that um, we need to get past this and both people can be sorry and, and things can get better with, with the relationship. Uh, Nita Hobby, she asks, are you able to get back to Kauai very often and what are some of the foods you have to have when you go back home? Uh, <laughs> when I, I, last time I was in Kauai was when I was writing in January 09 and <laughs> <laughs> uh, before that it was the summer before that so uh, I don't get to go there enough. I want to go back right this second. Uh, when I go back to Hawaii we always have barbecues at my aunt's house and I go to Bubba's Burgers and uh, I get smoothies all the time, um, and all the local boys when we hang out at the beach, they go fishing and they cook us. I, I like Ono, oh. and um, and my uncle goes out fishing and gets like really good ahi. And I, I love fish; it's amazing. Ray Boy Jr. wants to know: Your music has a laid-back feel, like music from Hawaii. Do you know or have ever heard of local Hawaiian music and any influences from Hawaii? Um. Well, Justin Young, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's in my band, uh, I actually knew of his music because um, my friends were listening to his music, and every time I'd go to Hawaii, I'd hear his songs. Um, and I, every time I hear Hawaiian music or the ukulele, it just it brings back those warm feelings that I get when I go to Hawaii and the the people, how everyone's so nice and the weather. And um, I heard, is it Pepper? Yep. Is it Pepper from Hawaii too? Yep. Uh, yeah, so I mean, just going there and, and getting to hear all these artists and bands, it's, um, I, I learn from them and I, I listen to them when I go back home. Frankie says he loves the harmonies and magic. Do you have any more collaborations with Um Well, I'm going to have a breakthrough. Uh, Jason Reeves and I, we have a collaboration, we have a duet called Droplets. And uh, I just did Lucky with Jason Mraz. And then after that, I really want to do a collaboration with a hip hop artist, like Common or Pharrell oh. Williams or someone, Timbaland maybe. Oh. That'd be cool. <laughs> Sky Castles wants to know, has how has becoming famous changed your life, the good and the bad? Um, it's weird to say I'm famous because I don't, <laughs> it's, it's just weird. But um, the good thing about it is that I get to travel the world and I, have a nice tour bus and I stay at nice hotels and I get to I get to travel and play my songs for people in different countries and all over the US and um, you get treated very well people bring things to you all the time and you get to go in front of the line like stuff like that that's awesome the bad part about it is that uh, it's there's so much work involved with it that I'm never home enough I'm never with my family enough I can't have a dog out on the road with me I don't get to be in Hawaii as much as I want to. I have to miss out on things, weddings, birthdays, um, and having people. It's it's very strange when you have people like taking pictures of you, and you feel like you're in a, in a zoo, in one of the cages, and you're like one of the zoo animals. So that's weird, but it's all it all comes together, and um, you have to look at it in the positive way. So that's what I try to do. MCAT is curious on how much you visit Hawaii, and if you ever do a concert back there again. I visit Hawaii, I try to go twice a year, and even that, that's not enough. Um, right now I've been begging my manager to try to book us a show in Hawaii. Um, I, I haven't played there for over a year now, so um, I'd really love to go back. My band wants to go back. Um, Justin Young, who's in my band, is from there. We just, we'd be so happy to go back there and play a show. So hopefully soon, really, really soon. Uh, Neil says, wow, Kobe Kalei, first off, you're beautiful. 
I love your voice. Secondly, where do you find most of the inspiration for your songs? Well, thank you, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet. I find inspiration from my songs, for my songs, from my personal experiences in life. Whatever I'm going through, whatever I'm observing with friends or family around me, going through a situation in life, or if I'm falling in love with someone or having to break up with someone, uh, I just write about whatever is going on in here. Kuya D says, what dream venue do you want to perform at? The dream venue that I would love to perform at is the Hollywood Bowl. That's where I saw my first concert. I saw Fleetwood Mac perform there when I was younger. And uh, I'm from LA. I, I want to perform at the Hollywood Bowl. Hollywood Bowl and just be, ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, two more. Matt says, do you have any inspirations to transition to different media types, or do you strictly see yourself as a music musician? Uh, I, I pretty much see myself as a musician and uh, eventually as just a songwriter for other artists. Um, I could be eventually talked into acting. I uh -huh. have been saying no for a long time. It's not really my thing, but I'm trying to, that's like my next goal is to be open to other situations and not be scared of, scared of things and acting I was kind of scared of. So if a good opportunity comes up, I might try it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> And lastly, MB, she wants to know, do you have another duet with Perez planned? Jason and I don't have another duet planned yet, but we're friends. We see each other all the time when we perform Lucky together, and uh, I'm sure we will we will write an, another song together just by hanging out all the time and, and loving each other's music so much. All right, all right thank you so thank much. Thank you, of course. That was awesome. <laughs>